Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited that you guys are here and I hope that you are having an absolutely fantastic morning, afternoon, or night, whatever it is for you when this video finally reaches you. Today's video, you guys, is one that I am so excited to dive into because we are going to be diving into something that I hadn't heard of up until this point, and that is the red-eyed children and why you should never call out for them. Now, previously on my channel, we've dove into the black-eyed children, we've dove into the white-eyed children, and honestly, I've told you guys before, nothing terrified me more than looking into the black-eyed children. Like, it is truly one of the only things I've researched for my channel besides like serial killer stuff where I was like oh my gosh this just gives me a really 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 bad feeling but today we are gonna dive into a whole nother category of eyed children and that is the red-eyed children now I had personally never heard of red-eyed children as I mentioned earlier and as I went through Google I didn't see too much about them either but after reading the experience that I did and the commentary following it, I felt as though it was interesting enough to bring here on my channel, share the experience with you guys, and ask any of you, have you heard of the red-eyed children? Or have you ever encountered the red-eyed children? And more importantly, after today's video, I wanna know what are your thoughts on the red-eyed children? So without further ado, sit back, relax, maybe turn a light on because things are about to get chilling. Before we get into today's video though, I would just very quickly like to thank today's video sponsor, Harry's. Now let me just tell you guys, I have worked with Harry's in the past quite a few times and Harry's has completely changed my shaving game. I absolutely love the quality of the blade and to be honest with you, my skin has never felt softer after shaving than with my Harry's razor. Now some people think of Harry's as a men's brand. However, they make razors with a smooth, comfortable shave at a fair price for absolutely anybody. There's no pink tax, there's no outrageous price tags, just premium quality at an affordable price, which I absolutely love. And better yet, Harry's gives 1% of their global sales to nonprofit organizations. Harry's has the low price of just $2 per refill and a 100% quality guarantee. They stand behind their blades so much that they have a 100% money back guarantee. Oh, and uh, I just have to add their foaming shaving gel is absolutely to die for. It is so good. You guys can redeem your trial set for just $3. All you have to do is go to harrys.com slash Haley Reese to redeem your offer. You'll get a five blade razor, weighted handle, and blade cover, and their foaming shave gel. It's an amazing deal, but you guys have to act fast while supplies last, so make sure you click the link below or head to harrys.com slash Haley Reese, and thank you so much to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. So with that being said, let's get into today's eerie story because I am so interested to hear your guys' opinions on it. So the story was written by a 15 year old girl from a relatively small town that she said had a lot of forestry within it. Now, interestingly enough, in this particular town, people often talked about the black eyed children and the encounters that they would have with them. So much so that it was almost a story that parents told their kids growing up and advised them if they were ever home alone and some kids came knocking on the door that they didn't know, do not open the door. But it wasn't until one day at school, a rumor began circulating that a girl in her grade had seen what she called the red-eyed children and said that anybody can see them, all they have to do is call upon them. Now initially, she didn't want to ask this girl about her experience. In fact, her parents were a part of a group of parents who had told their kids to be aware of black-eyed children and to be aware of anything that seemed unsafe or unsettling, that there were mysteries in the world that we don't all understand. So at first, the rumors were just floating around and the writer of this story, which by the way is anonymous, just continued on trying to avoid them as much as possible. But it wasn't until a sleepover with a group of friends from her school that they began talking about the red-eyed children and her curiosity was piqued. Suddenly, she wanted to know more about these red-eyed children, how people were seeing them and why they had to be called upon, whereas black-eyed children pretty much just showed up. So one of the girls in the circle began explaining that it all started with a girl in their grade 
who had been curious about the black eyed children and actually met some black eyed children. When she supposedly met said black eyed children, they didn't speak too much. All they wanted to do was come in. But when she asked if they were evil, they told her they weren't as evil as the red eyed children. And when they realized that she wasn't gonna let them in, the children just walked away. Now all night, supposedly this girl was wondering who were the red eyed children? She tried to Google, she couldn't find anything on the red eyed children. So she decided to take matters into her own hands and summon forth the red eyed children for herself. Supposedly at night, she prayed to whomever was listening that she could have an encounter with the red eyed children. Rumor had it that she did this to be the toughest and the coolest in the school, the bravest, so to speak, who not only came face to face with the black eyed children, but wanted to come face to face with what was even more evil, the red eyed children. And so night after night, she summoned and called out for the red eyed children, begging them to come. Now the girl said that she couldn't explain what had happened with the red eyed children, but that they were the children of Satan himself and that their eyes glowed a deep red. But even creepier, she said that once you summoned them, their eyes weren't always red as the black eyed children's eyes were always black. They could deceive you and change their eyes, but when they became angry with you or wanted to take control of you, their eyes would glow red. Now the girl at the sleepover explained that everybody at school thought it was nothing but a rumor, but that one by one, children in the school were having experiences. And when they would pry at these children and ask them what it is that the red-eyed children wanted and what it is that they would say, they would say that they couldn't say, but that they were the children of Satan himself which became a theme amongst all of them. Now the entire sleepover, the author of this story, the person who wrote this story, said that the entire night she couldn't sleep. She tossed and she turned and she tried not to think about them. She imagined that much like the black eyed children, the more she thought about them, the more power she gave them. So she tried to push them to the back of her mind, but the more that she tried to suppress them, the more that she kept wanting to know more and wanting to know what it was that these red-eyed children were telling them. So as time went on, she became more and more curious about these red-eyed children. She wanted to know more about them. She wanted to know what it was she was missing out on that the other kids knew and why it was they couldn't speak about it. So one night, she waited until close to 3 a.m. and she called out for the red-eyed children. Now nothing happened that night, she said. She actually had a very peaceful sleep and woke up the next day kind of calling BS on the entire thing. Three nights went by and absolutely nothing happened. But that's when the next paragraph leads into the fact that the red-eyed children are seemingly real. She said that they came and they visited her and that they are the children of Satan himself, that they are pure evil, something that has been thought up, manifested and created by people putting evil out into the world. Now, whether or not red-eyed children exist as a whole, or if they're being brought forth in that way because these children from this town are praying to whomever to see these red-eyed children, that's up for debate. And she ended her encounter by claiming that you should never call upon red-eyed children, that she doesn't know what they are, but that you don't wanna know what they say they are and what they say they're capable of. That was basically where the encounter ended, but there were plenty of people replying back saying that it didn't matter if they were red-eyed children, that they didn't believe they were anything like the black-eyed children. They believed that the black-eyed children were actual entities out there, but they believed that the red-eyed children were a product of summoning forth something dark, dark forces, and that Satan and the devil can take form of anything. I mean, if you think about it, the devil was once an angel. The devil in disguise is such a common phrase because, I mean, demons and demonic entities can disguise themselves as anything. So after I read this and after I read all the different comments on this, I started to get to thinking, I believe the same thing as those commenters. I think that the red-eyed children were something that these children were manifesting and wanting to bring forth what people were calling the children of Satan. And whether or not the story is true, I think the truth behind the story is, like we say in so many videos, or like I say in so many of my videos, you never know what you're calling forth. I'm not sitting here saying that red-eyed children exist whatsoever, but what I am sitting here saying is that you can manifest and bring forth anything into your reality, be it positive or negative, of light or of darkness. And the biggest reason you should never call upon the red-eyed children isn't because I believe red-eyed children exist in the same way that I believe black-eyed children exist, but after reading that story, I had a strange feeling in my stomach thinking, in a world where we can bring forth and manifest anything into our reality, 
why would we want to manifest and bring forth something evil or something of that nature, whether or not it truly is? And that's something that I wanna leave for food for thought with you guys today where these red-eyed children are concerned. I wanna know from you guys, do you think that these children were actually seeing red-eyed children? Do you think it's possible red-eyed children do exist in the same way that black-eyed and white-eyed children exist? Or do you think it was something that was made up in a small town that summoned something much darker? That's personally what I think, but I would love to know what you guys think. And if you guys have any theories as to what it is you think these children supposedly told them, let me know in the comments below. And my final question for you is I wanna know, do you think this is just another urban legend? Or do you think there could be some truth behind it? I would love to hear it all down in the comment section below. I will be replying to a ton of comments. So make sure you guys let me know your theories and that is it for today's video. Once again, I would just love to thank Harry's for sponsoring this video. I wanna remind you guys that you can redeem your trial set for just $3 when you head to harrys.com slash Haley Reese. I will have a link down in my description box, so make sure you guys do that while supplies last. And thank you so much to Harry's for sponsoring this video. If you guys are new to my channel or you are just not yet subscribed, but you do enjoy my videos, I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button. And please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Remember my loves, do all things with kindness. And until next time, I love you.